and welcome back everyone to another clash roll video so today i'm uploading two videos and then we'll see where it goes from there today i'll be showing you elixir marathon this video and the next one which i'm going to be uploading today i'll show you the double elixir challenge hopefully we'll win this one i mean it's legendary but i prefer calling it legendary but it's fine anyways not gonna bore bore you with all of that i've got something special for you guys which you will see soon probably when we hit 100 subscribers i'll show it to you let's just say that it's going to be a 100 subscriber special so i hope you guys hit that soon because i have something for you anyways we're gonna go with this if i forgot the name but i'm gonna assume it's ramp up basically yep ramp up so two matches for the ramp up and then i'm gonna show you three matches for double elixir because usually i prefer showing you, uh, showing you guys one of my mess ups cause you learn more by watching someone lose let's just say that Anyways, we're gonna go with this. I'm just gonna fast forward to the point where it's all nice. Okay, now I went with the Sparky first, but he went with the Executioner opposite lane. It would have been a good play. I think it was a good play, but... Okay, yeah, I think I do it in some other match. Okay, so yeah, it was a good play. <laughs> the thing is... Um, because you have the fisherman you can like basically pull the troops to the uh, to the other side which is a huge deal let's just say that because in all honesty i'd say fisherman is an s tier legendary as of now in the current scenario which i guess is a good thing because finally I mean the meta was getting kind of stale and the fisherman just puts a new twist into it. Like this one, like see that wizard is coming on the left hand side but I can take it out. It's just so perfect, I love it. And another card which I think is pretty strong is the heal spirit. Like just look at that, single handedly heal everything up. I just love the deck i mean i love the interactions between the cards overall it's a very fun and amazing deck and i could not recommend it enough for these challenges at least the first two not sure about the other ones i might switch to lava hound in the legendary challenge it's simply because when you have unlimited elixir golem and lava hound is pretty much going to dominate that's always been the case. I've won like triple elixir challenge 20 wins, I guess, with that. So I like to believe that Lava Hound has got what it takes to, you know, win with unlimited elixir, of course. And in general, also, I think Lava Hound, okay, obviously, I'm a Lava Hound main, so I'm going to be saying that. But yeah. Anyways. Another amazing thing about these challenges is that no matter how over leveled you are, it doesn't matter. Also, I didn't know about that interaction between the fisherman and the electro wizard. I, if you guys didn't know about that, well, that's a good thing, right? Because you learned something new. Might help you later. Who knows? At this point, I was just spamming sparkies, so. Simple. The match is simple, I guess. The way to play the deck in itself is pretty simple. So you might not have to bother with that at all. Excuse my Wi-Fi. Cannot do much about it. I'm currently downloading a lot of stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a bit slow, but it, it's pulling through. It's fine. I mean, it's not cause, causing any major issues. So yeah. Okay, so the expo was, I'd say, well played on his part, even though I personally 
would have defended first but looking at his deck obviously they are not going to have much difficulties with defending as you can see so i guess it was a decent play for that deck but if you're playing like 2.9 i think xbo then it's i i'd suggest defend more but obviously i don't mean xbo so i have no right to say anything <laughs> but just an advice just think of it that way just an opinion not an advice so anyways we are able to do, take down the left hand side obviously he's going to play a wizard on the left hand side i'm just going to fireball the entire thing cause why not right obviously they are under leveled it's quite clear with the wizard's level but i don't think it's going to stop me from taking the dub i mean i'm not going to take mercy or something cuz to be fair i could have done that but i don't know um what my next opponent's going to be like who my next opponent's going to be could be a level 13 could be a maxed out level 11 even i i'm not even sure what goes around in the ladder another fun interaction is this basically i use the fisherman to pull the giant skeleton away from the sparky path cause once you're done with that it's amazing like the sparky won't die so obviously it's amazing now this one was a little bit weird for me cause i fireballed but the fisherman pulled the wizard away um so i missed i didn't miss my fireball it kind of didn't hit which i guess is the same thing but yeah you get my point anyways sparky is pretty op so not gonna happen anything nothing's going to happen basically and when sparky is being pulled by the fisherman take note that sparky will not hurt as long as it's being pulled so that's an important interaction i suppose anyways now that we're done with everything i'd say yes it's fun i obviously i'd recommend it and yep that's chee chee if you guys did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe and as always thank you guys for watching peace out